from the hospital is our correspondent Sophie Long. So, uh, morning to you, Sophie. Uh, are we hearing anything from the hospital about the boy's condition? Tell us the latest. Yeah, well, there is one thing that everyone here is talking about this morning, and it's not the football. It's that major rescue operation that went on all weekend, three days of it. The Thai Prime Minister has just been on television talking to the Thai people. And a few moments ago, the BBC heard from the Chief of the Navy Seals, and he told the BBC that uh, he feels very happy this morning, as well he might. They pulled off what some people are calling an astonishing operation. It certainly was unprecedented in scale and complexity. But interestingly, he said... We didn't think we could do it, he said, but we had to. We had a tiny bit of hope, and that tiny bit of faith turned into a reality. And there were some really wonderfully uplifting scenes here last night. These roads were closed off, and as they saw the flashing lights in the distance of those final few ambulances, the crowds that had gathered here cheered and applauded as the final four footballers and their coach arrived here at Chiang Rai Hospital. Now, they are all reunited on the eighth floor, and they are under close medical observation, as you would assume assume they would be. Now we got a latest update from the hospital a little while ago. We've heard that the final group to come in, the final five, all had very low temperatures but that has now normalised. One of them has a small lung inflammation. The two first groups, the first eight to arrive here, are all doing well. No signs of any infection and they will be able to see their parents later today but they'll still have to keep a two metre distance and their parents will have to wear protective clothing. So even now, even days on, they still won't be able to give their children those hugs that they so desperately want to. So for the moment, thank you. Um, we'll have more on that throughout the programme as well. Theresa May.